cover the coronavirus pandemic now, some of the best advice has really come down to something called social distancing. Now, that low-tech tool of closing schools and limiting crowds is perhaps the best tool to slowing the virus down. I want to acknowledge that this situation has moved at warp speed. Dr. Jennifer Vines is the lead health officer for Multnomah, Washington, and Clackamas counties. There is nobody immune to this virus. There is no vaccine. There is no treatment. Her words are not meant to cause panic. She's telling people to prepare and be smart. The majority of us will suffer a mild illness. For those people, we ask you to stay home and not seek health care if you wouldn't otherwise. But some of us in particular are elderly. People with underlying medical conditions are the, are the ones we know are at risk of severe illness and potentially needing life-saving intervention at, a, at the hospital level. She and other health officers are telling vulnerable people to stay home. And to protect everyone, closing schools, postponing games, and limiting crowd sizes or social distancing is probably our best bet. And I have no illusions about the bitter pill this is to swallow for our communities. She says if we start seeing flooded emergency rooms and crowded intensive care units, it's too late for social distancing measures to have much impact. I, ca I can't predict where we'll be in the next few days. So remember, we've also been told that a vaccine for coronavirus is probably a year away.